Hi everyone, Sandra Vale here at Homesteading Ways, and today I'm just doing a quick video on potting up my tomato seedlings. I also have a couple of herbs that also need to be potted up, but I think I'm just going to go over one of those. Um, so it's just transplanting your seedlings um, after the first stage, but I'll show you what it is I'm going to do. Okay, here's a close-up of my seedlings, the tomato seedlings. See the, the center leaves there? Those are considered the true leaves. The first bigger leaves will eventually fall off, but the center ones are the true leaves, and that's the real start of your tomato plant. And uh, when you see those, that's the perfect time to pot them up to a bigger container. These are the calendula that I'm going to be potting up. They're in much smaller cells than the tomato plants, and as you can see, they're really starting to bend over. Even though I have grow lights on them, they're just tall and spindly, and they don't have um, their true leaves yet. But most of them really need to um, go into a bigger container. There's two uh, most of the times in each cell there, because I always plant two seeds in case one doesn't grow. So I'm going to try to separate them, the same as the tomatoes, as best I can untangle the roots so I get two plants instead of one but sometimes it doesn't always work out. Alrighty, just like when you um, start your seedlings with putting your soil in your containers and that, you're going to put your soil in first and you're going to wet it all down real nice and then you're going to work on getting these out. These were planted in that, um, I forget what it's called, but it's that coconut hull stuff supposed to be um, oh, an alternative to peat pots and they're kind of hard to tear apart. Now I could, if there was only one tomato plant in here, I could plant this whole thing straight in the soil just same as a peat pot, but I'm going to have to separate a bunch of these. So I have the root right here for this tomato plant and then this one I am, I'm just going to Put it straight in there. The, the, the less you can disturb the roots of a plant, the better off you are. So that's what I'm going to try and do here. And with all your other seedlings, as soon as they get that second set of leaves, or if they really are looking spindly, you know, tall and thin, and they're they're leaning over, you need to pot those up. And by potting up, you're just using a, a bigger container, and you're going to plant them kind of deep, like I'm doing here. I'm putting a lot of the stem underneath there, and that's fine because you're plenty of, you're plenty distance away from the leaves, and it'll work out fine. It'll help develop a stronger root system too. Now see how low that is in there, as opposed to like where this this one was I planted a good chunk of that in there and now these won't need to be potted up again um, they could probably go straight once they're they're big enough at the size of this pot I could transplant them directly outside unless I'm gonna hold on to them longer then I might pot them up another one just slightly bigger than this one but this is a good size this is almost, I'd say two and a half by two and a half or, or maybe three. You could pot them up to a four by four, but you don't need to. Um, it just depends on your area, how soon you planted your seedlings and when your frost free date is. And my frost free date is somewhere around early May, but there's no way I'm planting tomatoes out at that time because the air and the soil won't be warm enough not to my liking at least. If tomatoes are planted when it's too chilly, um, not frost, but just chilly, they'll do nothing. They'll just sit there. They won't grow. They won't die. They'll just do nothing. They like the warmer weather. So until nighttime temperatures are like 55 degrees and higher, you can plant your tomatoes, but they just won't do much. And the same goes uh, for beans and peppers. Well, maybe not so much beans, but peppers. Anything that's a real heat lover, that's what you have to wait for. 
Okay, so those are done, but now I'm going to work on, um, show you the calendula. And calendula is just pot marigold, and they're very pretty flowers, and they last all season, and they're, they're really good with uh, frost. The, I had uh, some of them last year's were still going. Oh, geez, in early November, I couldn't believe it, but it, it was wonderful. And the, the petals of the calendula are what a lot of people use in um, salves and ointments. It's beautiful for your skin. Any kind of sunburn, um, cuts, scrapes, rashes, you make a little ointment with calendula and you'll be, you'll be uh, healed up real soon. It's very soothing too. And the same thing here, I'm going to plant low. I'm going to uh, put most of the stem in there, and tamp it down, and then that way it's not leaning over and stretching so much. And then hopefully you'll get a real strong stem and a really good root system. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's how I pot up my plants. Well, thanks for watching the video. I'm glad you took the time to do it. Please comment and subscribe. I appreciate it. That would be great. It was nice talking to you, and you take care.